And welcome back to Oregon, folks. So today, got a special little thing for you. It's on a another type of very small occupied space growing closet. So went down to Fred Meyer's, and they have these the clothes closets. They're pretty darn cheap. And as you can see, the dimensions here. They're 19 and a half inches deep, 36 inches long, and 64 inches tall. It's made from a durable, breathable fabric, and it's got a zipper. And a little nifty window. So, let's go ahead and unzip this thing. And... Over here, you can see my mint, my cucumbers, my prayers, my cauliflower, that's green beans, and another cucumber back there. So, uh, the lights. We have... Uh, 100 watt replacement CFL bulbs that produce 1600 lumens and this is in the 65k daylight spectrum from everyday living at Fred Myers GE energy smart blue party bulb why because I like having that blue spectrum in my vegetation cabinet. So that's all it is. A couple of splitters. Um, the fixture was either picked up from Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that. A buddy of mine made it for me. So it didn't cost me anything at all. This about 25 30 bucks. You probably pick one up at like Walmart or other various places like that for varying prices. Um, I got mine for 25 bucks. And then that's it for lights right there. A couple of light bulbs. And I put a towel down at the bottom of this thing just to kind of soften the edges of the black shelf that I put underneath of it. Which, um, considering painting the shelf white, I've got a little bit of white spray paint, so, you know, that might actually be a thing. Or I might just put more of those little silver trays underneath of it, all the plants, just to kind of help, uh, keep the water from spilling over onto the fabric here. And, um, yeah, so, just a quick video. A quick tutorial, whatever you want to call it, on how to make a really cheap grow station. And this thing was really easy to um, put together. The poles here just are like tent poles. They snap into each other. Um, they go into the little holes in the plastic framing here. Um, center bar there. As you can see I got the ropes tied down to either end of this light that was made for me and it's basically just a um, one of those piping like the round pipe it's a 4 inch by 24 inch um, 30 gauge round pipe you pick that up at like Lowe's, Home Depot, hardware stores, anything like that that's also exactly where he got the fixture from I imagine was probably in the same place but uh, that's it how to make a really cheap little growing cabinet and if you want to you can replace these daylight bulbs with the soft white 1600 lumen 100 watt replacement CFLs and these are in the come on focus 
27K Spectrum. Give you a quick look at the lighting facts on them. And these are really honestly all I'm using so far for growing my plants. And as you can see, they appear to be doing pretty well. So, you can make your own judgments if you'd like. But, uh, so far, I'm enjoying my results. Well, that's it from Oregon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.